What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We are up against Pukayu, who's bringing a really cool team. The Charizard, which we've seen before. The Nidoking, King, which I haven't seen in a while. Gyarados, which we're seeing again. Uh, we didn't see the last Wi-Fi battle, but we have been seeing a lot of Gyarados lately. Snorlax is cool to see. Gengar is also. And what's very unique to see is the Kadabra. So that is, that's very interesting. Now, as you can see, we're bringing a brand new team really quick. I'm going to go ahead and start with me and Xiao here. Just because we've got access to U-turn. And let's say that this Nidoking King wants to hit us with something. We can go out into something else. I, I don't know why, but... We'll, we'll figure it out. So we're bringing a brand new team. This one is just a team I put together. I started off with the Dene and just put bases around the Dene and hopefully it works. So we're going to hope for the best. Now, I'll go over my team in just a moment and I won't forget this time because I have a really bad habit of forgetting, of telling you guys what my Pokemon um, are bringing to the table here. So Nidoking comes out just like I kind of figured would come out and this is a choice bandit of a man shell that comes out by the way so um well i just realized i got fake out on choice band that's not the first time i've done that before so what we're gonna do here we're just gonna go ahead and um i want to fake out get some damage on this thing i don't think it's a poison point nidoking. king so we're gonna go ahead and fake out do some pretty good amount of damage for it being um for it being just a base base 40 attack i think is what it is let me see yeah, base 40. So next we're going to go ahead and switch out. And this is where I'm going to recap my team. So we got the Mian Xiao, which um, should not be packing U-turn. It should, or um, fake out. It should be packing U-turn, high jump kick, poison jab, and um, I think it's stone edge. So we've got a little fixing to do here. We got the Pulte guys with the choice, uh, well, not the choice guy. I was going to say choice sash, but it's a focus sash. With a shell smash, shadow ball, giga drain, and stored power, which is going to be very dirty with the weak armor. So that's going to be awesome. Uh, we got the Corsola, regular Corsola, with the Scald, Recover, Amnesia, Stealth Rock, the Talon Flame with the Sword Dance, Brave Bird Taunt, Flare Blitz with the Gale Wings and the Heavy Duty Boots, Roserade with the Hidden Power. Um, what? I can bring Hidden Power on this? I don't think so. That is interesting. What Hidden Power do I even have? I don't remember. I brought this from Kalos, by the way. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into Corsola here. It's the best thing I can do anyways, so... I don't really want my um, Roserade to come in and take a flamethrower to the face. I would rather Corsola, you know, get hit with an Earth Power. I know we should be able to take one. That at least is what I'm hoping. We are regenerated Corsola, by the way. I don't know if you guys saw that when I was showcasing the team back there. So, what I'm going to do here, I can set up my own Stealth Rock and really make this Gyarados cry. So, I'm going to go ahead and set up my Stealth Rock here. If this thing wants to hit me with an attack, by all means. It's an earthquake, it's, it's stabbing, it's physical, but we take it. So we're gonna get our Stealth Rock set up here, which is actually awesome, and we are Regenerator. So I'm just gonna switch out of here, and I'm gonna go into the Heavy Duty Boots, um, Gal Wings, um, whatever your name is, Talon Flame. Because I really don't think that he's packing the Rock type move, and if he is, then so be it. I'm, I'm running Taunt on this instead of U-Turn because I want to make sure no, nothing can set up on me, especially a Corviknight. So, I'm kind of thinking of what I should do, and I don't know what I should do. I kind of want to go Stored Power Pulte guys here, and I think that's what I'm going to do here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I just realized that my core is not that greatest because they're both weak to Ground-type attacks. That is not good. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the Pulte, the Pulte guys here. Should be able to take an Earthquake from this thing. At least I'm hoping. Come on, Pulte guys. There you go, that's what we're wanting. Got the weak armor, now we outspeed this thing. My defense goes down, obviously my speed goes up by two. That's, I didn't know that, I thought it was by one. Now, stored power should do the trick. Um, well, at least get this thing down to um, a very low HP stat is the goal because I really want to weaken this thing and if, it, if I get a knockout then that would be even better but I don't think we'll knock out yeah definitely not especially since it's not powered up so yeah um, toxic spikes comes out and honestly I can come into the rose raid and just absorb those so that doesn't I, I really don't care about those 
Okay, so gonna get the black sludge recovery here, and we're just gonna go ahead and store the power again. I really want to get some damage off on this Nidoking, King, and we're probably gonna trade Pokemon, not this. Well, I'm gonna give him my Pulti guys, and I'm probably gonna be able to take this Nidoking King in the next turn. So, especially with the South Rock. So, all right, so Earthquake comes out, and this is a good opportunity for me to try to come in into the the gosh darn Roserade. I believe I outspeed. I think I outspeed. Should I, I'm gonna go Mian Shao, actually. Yeah, this team is not very, very good now that I think about it. Because I think Roserade gets outsped by this, um... Yeah, we're just gonna go Roserade. I want to absorb this, the uh, Toxic Spikes. I really don't want to risk the... You know the poison damage racking up later on so we're gonna go into the rose raid here i can't use hidden power so i do need to change that actually and i'm just gonna go ahead and magical leaf this is gonna do the same amount of damage as a leaf storm so there you go we should actually change that hidden power for a dazzling gleam um because well i don't know dazzling gleam would be kind of good but i don't know i don't know how i feel about it so Charizard comes out, and this is a good opportunity for me to go into... Is this special? If this is special, I'm going to Dedenne. I'm going to go into the Dedenne here. Now, my Dedenne is specially... It's, it's invested in special defense. So, we should be able to take an attack from this Charizard. At least I'm hoping. This is the first time I've ever used a Dedenne. So I'm like, you know what? We're going to try to do some stuff with Dedenne. Okay, so we're going to... Oh, wait a minute. I messed up. I'm, I'm packing the wrong berry. Yeah, we got we got some brainstorming to do with this team. Nuzzle cup. I owe speed somehow. Don't ask me how. Do not ask me how. Get the paralysis. Come on. Get the fully para. Earthquake. So this is a mixed Charizard. Interesting. Unfortunately, Dedenne is going to go down. And then what I really want to do... I don't remember what the rest of this team looks like. But what I really want to do is come out into the Mian or Talonflame swords dance and go from there but i don't think it's worth it quite yet so i'm just gonna go talent flame and i really want to just hit the brave bird let me see what this team looks like yeah i'm fine going swords dance and then brave bird i'm okay with that i'm gonna swords dance it up get a swords dance up and this i should be able to take an attack from this thing dragon pulse We take it. That's what I was wanting. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to hit them with the Brave Bird. And it's going to do some significant amount of damage. Now, unfortunately, Gale Wings is not going to be active anymore. So the reason that I'm packing the Brave Bird is because I really want to set up a Sword Dance and get a Gale Wings priority attack off on something. I don't know. I, I don't know. That's just... I'm really upset that they nerfed my boy Talonflame. I know it was really good, but it wasn't broken. I mean... If you look at the other Pokemon that are in the meta, they're more broken than my boy Talonflame here. So, all right, so that's gonna, that's pretty good for us. And this is a Moxie Gyarados. I'm honestly just gonna Brave Bird here, and I think I'll be able to take it out because I am. I I think I'm adamant nature. I should be adamant nature. Brave Bird, Gyarados goes down. I think I am adamant nature. I'll have to double check. I also gotta do some switching around of the moves after this Wi-Fi battle. Surprisingly, for how good my opponent's team is, this team is hanging in there, and I don't know how, to be honest. Snorlax does come out. We should be able to take it out with the Brave Bird again. Well, at least I hope. I know this HP stat is, is really buff. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to Flare Blitz because it does have the opportunity to burn. So, if we got to burn, that would be huge. And it eats it up. Of course it does. So, our Pokemon goes down, our Talon Flame. And what I'm going to do here, I really want to go into the Mian Xiao. But, I'm, I am afraid of them. Uh, I am afraid of what's yet to come, to be honest. I am afraid. Okay, so I'm going to go out into the Mian Xiao. I'm going to U-turn out of there. Because Gengar in the back is very scary to me. Well, what I can do is... Poison jab, technically speaking. I'm just going to U-turn out of there. 
I think I have to U-turn out of there. He's gonna ex Oh, he's not I could have gotten the high jump kick and you I would have gotten away with it. It's a crit! Wow, that kind of matters. That's kind of huge for us. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna go into the Rosa Raid. Given that how much that U-turn did, I should be able to knock this thing out. I should be able to knock it out. Body slam. Don't get the para though. Yikes! It, it, it's a crit! Hey, it's a crit! What? That... <laughs> how inconvenient for me, bruh. That was really bad for us. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go out into the Mian Xiao. And Mian Xiao at this point is my win con. And unfortunately, I have nothing for the Gengar or anything like that, so... I'm just gonna point to jab here. I'm just gonna poison jab. He withdraws. The Gengar's gonna come out. I know that for a fact. Oh, Kadabra comes out. We'll be able to take this thing out. We'll be able to take it out, no problem. Easy, easy knockout. He probably wanted to sack off his Kadabra. Or he was predicting the fighting type attack. One of the two. Now he's probably confused because I'm running the fake out and I'm banded, so he's probably like, what the heck is this Mian Zhao even doing? All right, Gengar comes out. This is kind of what we are afraid of. We are afraid of this Gengar, believe it or not. This is the opportunity for me to go into the Corsola and hopefully leave an attack and just set up some Amnesia. Oh, it's getting hot in here, bro. I need to bring in that little air conditioner that I had the other day. All right, so Mian Xiao comes back. I only got two Pokemon to knock out. And if I, uh, isn't this a Regenerator Corsola? Or did I, it is, it is, it is. Okay, so just like I figured, he's going to go ahead and Dynamax, and we're in trouble. We are in trouble. And it's not a G-Max, it's a, just a regular Dynamax. Okay, we're still in this, we good, we good. I'm not panicking, I'm not panicking at all. All right, so Max Lightning, unfortunately for us, Corso is gonna go down. And I do have to do something here with the Mian Xiao. This is when I wish I was packing the, the rock type attack rather than the fake out. Yeah, I'm in trouble. I am in big trouble. I mean, Max Ooze raises our special attack and that doesn't matter to be honest. We, we're, we're done for. I mean, we can Max Flutterby, or Fl Flutterby I think is what it's called. We, we do outspeed it and lower this thing's special attack by one. That would be kind of good for us. Now, unfortunately, if he does go for the max ooze, then that's just going to offset it. And he resists the bug type attack by four. He does resist it by four. So this isn't going to do anything. Max lightning strikes first, so he actually outspeeds me. And that does a lot of damage, more than I wanted it to. So Max Butterfly, this is a waste because we're not going to outspeed next turn. If I outsped, then it might have made a difference, but probably not. Max loses my next best attack and it also resists that by four, so it's game. It's game. This is what I get for number one, not planning, not bringing the appropriate moves. And um, that's basically why I lost. That's basically why I lost, so. I lost to Fakayu, I think. I don't, I don't remember your name. Fukayu, Fukayu. Fukayu, thank you for that Wi-Fi battle. This team is not that great. I'm gonna be honest. So it's gonna be a long three Wi-Fi battles with this team. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's your boy, Daddy Mac. I'll see you guys next time.